think it's a snake eagle. It might be a... Mm, what is that? Yes, I'm talking. Can you hear me, Craig? You can hear me. Alice, can you not hear me? Oh, good. Right, Alice didn't know we were live. She must have thought I was talking to myself. Uh, anyway, I wasn't. I was talking to you. All right, Alice, let's discuss it when I get home. <laughs> Thank you. I believe Tristan's link was that I was looking spiffy in my red jacket. Thank you very much. Now, I was back to that bird. I don't know what it is. It looks like a snake eagle of sorts. It's too small to be a brown snake eagle. It's not brown, uh, which would have been the first clue, of course. Could it possibly be a juvenile um, black-breasted? It could be, but is it possible? Is it possible, Craig, that we are looking at the short-toed snake eagle? No, it isn't. I'm looking at it now, and it looks nothing like that. I don't think. It's definitely a snake eagle, though. It's probably, it's probably a juvenile basilier or something ridiculous. I'm just looking now to see the colours. Oh, just no, it's not. A, it's possibly could be a short-toed snake eagle, um, but the distribution is not good for this area. I wonder if we're not just looking at a fairly pale juvenile brown snake eagle, which is so deeply deeply boring, not because it's a brown snake eagle, but because I got so excited about what it might be. <laughs> Western banded snake eagle, it's possible. Just check the size of the Western banded snake eagle. Now, the immature is very barred on the front, very barred on the front and not pale like that, at least not sort of uniform Roshni, you say you're sure the eagle spotted me in my bright red jacket. Roshni, as unquestionably untrue, at least true as that is, is very, very unhelpful. Does anybody know what bird this is? I think we're going to have to go around the other side of it. I think it could easily be a western banded snake eagle. In fact, I'm going with western banded snake eagle. I'll tell you why. It has got a yellow eyes. It's got a yellow sear. It has got a uniform sort of front part up until around about where a belly button would be. And then it's a little bit barred, and it's got yellowish legs. So I think what we have there, everybody, is the western banded snake eagly. Let's go a little bit forward. Trying, not, trying desperately not to get stuck on this road which I've nearly done five or six times already today. Oh dear. Ooh, that's a really good picture of him. Yeah. That's a lifer for me, everybody. That means it's the first time I've seen that bird. Craig, have you ever seen the Western Banded Snake Eagle before? No, you have not. So don't say I don't ever do anything for you. Yeah, good. I'm most pleased with that, everybody. How many of you have seen Western Banded Snake Eagles before? I'm sure that must be a first for some. Hmm. Beautiful. Okay, then we have across the way, let me drive a little bit forward, we've got some nice giraffes. In fact, I don't need to go forward, we've got them going across here. Just while we look at those, Roshni's comment about my, the redness of my jacket, of course, is completely true. The birds would definitely be able to see it, but remember that most animals out here 
uh, don't see very well in color. And so while anything that is shiny and reflective, so yes, bright yellow would reflect color that would then alert animals Something like this red jacket, probably not as, it's definitely not as camouflaged as, say, a, a blue one or grey one would be, but not quite as bright as you might think it is. And then in the background, we have the Mara's sequined equid species. I'm not sure if you can see it back there. You can see them way back there, Craig. The second equid of the Mara. If you zoom straight in over there, over the top of that where that car is going between the two between the two giraffes. Keep going to the right and zoom in there. And there we are. Can you see them there? You can see there a group of horses. Now horses of course are not native to the Mara uh, but people who ride them uh, quite like to bring them down here and I think I'd really like to do that. Taylor and I uh, well, we used to ride horses when we were little people, and um, I think we'd both quite like to do a little horse safari across the Mara. Craig, would you like to do a horse safari? No, Craig wouldn't. Craig would rather have a motorbike safari. All right, let's go across to Taylor. Apparently, she is looking green or is looking at something green. I hope it is the former. No, the latter.